Hi skincare lovers, welcome to Skincare by Sydney. I'm Sydney, I'm a dermatology PA, and today we're talking about hyaluronic acid. So this is a very common word you're going to find on skincare products. And let's start by talking about what it is. It is a molecule that is naturally found in our skin and produced by our bodies in several different places. As we age, we don't produce as much of it. So that is why it's common as we get older to have drier skin and also for our skin to lose some of that elasticity. We also don't produce as much collagen or we lose collagen as we age. And actually hyaluronic acid likes to hang out with collagen. It's typically bound in our skin on one side with collagen and on the other is a string of water molecules. So as far as why would we put it in our skincare products, it's for hydration and then it also has some anti-aging properties as far as helping add some of that plumpness to the skin. Interestingly enough, that is what fillers are or the injectables that people get um, for some of the hollowing that we see as we age, we actually can inject hyaluronic acid back into the face and it can also be injected into joints because that is another place hyaluronic acid is naturally found. It's a really gel-like kind of gummy substance naturally. So I wanna talk about what you need to know for skincare products. Basically, we can all use sodium hyaluronate for hydration purposes. Um, and then for anti-aging purposes, I always recommend that you're buying the more expensive products. So I'm gonna go over some of those medical grade options today. But you're going to see sodium hyaluronate three different ways in products. Um, so it says hyaluronic acid on the front, you turn it around, it's going to have sodium hyaluronate in it. Then there are two other forms of it that are becoming more common in skincare products. One of these is sodium acetylated hyaluronate. So basically an acetyl group is added and this makes it a little bit more cosmetically elegant. It makes it retain or can attract more water and that is one of the properties of hyaluronic acid is that it can attract and hold up to a thousand times its weight in water which gives it those properties of hydration and also plumping um, the other way you're going to see it take also takes you back to organic chemistry um, it's it will be listed as hydrolyzed sodium hyaluronate so a hydrolysis reaction is when a water molecule is added to another molecule and typically what happens is that it makes it break in half. So it makes a smaller, two smaller molecules. Well, this is great because it can penetrate deeper than the regular sodium hyaluronate molecule. So most of the products I have here have hyaluronic acid only. I do have one exception, this product by, it's a Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hyaluronic Acid Serum. It actually has the hydrolyzed sodium hyaluronate in it as well. Um, and this is a product that came out this year. I just wanna show you the difference in the textures. So you can see this is kind of gel-like, hopefully, um, and you rub it in and it kind of feels just a tad bit thicker and more viscous than water. Um, the entire Neutrogena Hydro Boost line is a great way to add hyaluronic acid into your routine for um, a good price. Again, I typically recommend that if you're doing it for drier skin reasons um, or just to moisturize. If you're really looking for anti-aging, I recommend some of the products. They're like $100, um, but to reach your goals, I think it's a good option. This is probably like the $20, $20, $30 price point, and then the medical grade are gonna be around 100. So that's a, an option you can find at the drugstore. It is actually recommended that you use this first and then you apply the hyaluronic acid or the hydro boost gel cream or water gel and so i absolutely love the water gel obviously i talk about it a lot um but i just thought it was interesting that they do recommend layering them and that is one thing i've seen with the hyaluronic acid serums is they'll say put it on and then put a moisturizer on top of it to really seal in that hydration Another Hydro Beast product is a hydrating serum. It's very similar, has a very similar ingredient profile to the water gel, it's just in a different form. And then lastly, there is a Hydro Boost multivitamin booster. 
This is niacinamide and vitamin E in it. So I think this is a really great option from the drugstore as well. It is also recommended that you use this and then seal it in with the water gel. So now we're gonna switch to some of the medical grade products. Um, the SkinCeuticals HA Intensifier is one of the all time kind of like best hyaluronic acid products. Um, it's the first one that I ever used and you can see that it's a lot thicker. So I like to use this around my eye area, even as like an eye cream or before an eye cream. So back to that, use it and seal it in. I'll use this in the mornings and then put my eye cream on and go on with the rest of my skincare routine. You can obviously use this over your entire face, but that's typically the area um, that I feel like needs a little bit more plumping and it's true i think the under eye area is where we see some of that hollowing because of genetics or age first so this is an awesome product it's a hundred dollars um two more and then we'll talk about kind of how to add these into your routine and as far as what order the skin medica ha5 is another standout product by a medical grade skincare line um it is again a little bit thicker um, it has an interesting texture i think it varies between a gel and a cream and then when you rub it in it really really seals in it almost feels a little bit sticky but it doesn't stay at all it's very silky and lastly skin medica has another one uh, with hyaluronic acid or sodium hyaluronate called the hydrating b5 gel the b5 part is pantothenic acid or panthenol, and um, you can see it's a little bit more watery or not as thick. So um, my hand is extremely well hydrated now. But as far as how to add these into your routine, some people will say to use them at night because that's when you're getting some extra hydration in. A lot of times I'll say to also use them in the morning for some of the, the plumping that you can get. But the truth is, it's more important that you use them consecutive days and you use it consistently for like over a month. Um, the last product is a honest product and it comes in a container that is very similar to the Hydro Boost. And it's also about the same price point and it has the two derivatives in there. So there are so many products that advertise that they have hyaluronic acid on the front. And so I hope that you can take this knowledge and use it to help guide yourself through the skincare market and find a product that works really well for you. Thank you so much and see you next time.